Austria, a nation known for its stunning Alps, with their majestic peaks and serene land and rich musical heritage, including the, including the timeless compositions of Mozart and Strauss, found itself at the center of a political earthquake in 2019. The Ibiza Affair, a scandal that exposed deep-seated corruption within the far-right Freedom Party of Austria, FPO, sent shockwaves through the country and beyond. The scandal led to the dramatic collapse of the coalition government and the resignation of Vice-Chancellor Heinz Christian Strache, a prominent and controversial figure in the FPO. The scandal, caught on hidden camera, revealed Strache seemingly offering lucrative government contracts in exchange for favorable media coverage, a revelation that stunned the nation. This shocking revelation tarnished the image of the FPO, a party that had gained significant ground in recent years by capitalizing on public anxieties surrounding immigration and globalization. The scandal seemed to mark a turning point, a moment where the true nature of the far right was exposed for all to see, laying bare their questionable tactics and intentions. Yet, amidst the political fallout, a crucial question emerged. Had the Ibiza affair truly sounded the death knell for Austria's far right, or had it merely provided a temporary setback, a momentary pause in their ascent? The answer, as we are witnessing today, is far more complex than initially anticipated, with many layers and nuances that continue to unfold. While the scandal undoubtedly dealt a significant blow to the FPO, it also created a vacuum, a space for new and old anxieties to fester and grow. Did the Ibiza affair truly expose the inherent dangers of the far right, or did it inadvertently pave the way for their eventual return, stronger and more determined than before? In the aftermath of the Ibiza affair, the Austrian far right faced a strategic dilemma. Their true colors had been revealed, their tactics exposed, and their leadership discredited. The path forward required a delicate dance, distancing themselves from the scandal while clinging to the very ideologies that had fueled their rise. This balancing act has become the defining characteristic of the far right's strategy in Austria. The FPO, seeking to shed its tarnished image, underwent a carefully curated makeover. They replaced the scandal-ridden Strasch with a younger, more polished leader, Norbert Hofer. This changing of the guard was more than just a cosmetic alteration. It was a calculated attempt to present a more palatable face to the Austrian electorate. However, beneath the veneer of moderation, the core tenets of the FPO's ideology remained largely unchanged. The party continues to exploit anxieties surrounding immigration, Islam and cultural change, albeit with a more measured tone. This strategy, a blend of rebranding and dog whistling, has proven to be surprisingly effective. Can a leopard truly change its spots? Is the FPO's rebranding a genuine attempt at reform or a cynical ploy to regain power? The resurgence of the far right in Austria cannot be solely attributed to political manoeuvring. It is a multifaceted phenomenon that goes beyond mere political strategies. It is a symptom of deeper societal anxieties, anxieties that have been exacerbated by economic uncertainty and rapid social change. These underlying fears have been festering for years, creating a volatile environment. The global financial crisis of 2008, the subsequent Eurozone crisis, and the more recent economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic have all contributed to a pervasive sense of precarity and insecurity among many Austrians. These events have shaken the foundations of economic stability. This economic anxiety 
has created fertile ground for the far right's message of fear and resentment. The far right capitalizes on these fears, offering seemingly straightforward solutions to complex issues. The FPO, with its rhetoric against globalization, immigration and the European Union, has successfully tapped into this undercurrent of discontent. Their message resonates with those who feel left behind by the rapid pace of change. They offer simplistic solutions to complex problems, scapegoating outsiders and promising a return to a romanticized past. This nostalgic vision appeals to those yearning for a sense of stability and control. Moreover, the influx of refugees and migrants into Europe, particularly during the 2015 migration crisis, has fueled anxieties about cultural change and national identity. These demographic shifts have intensified fears of losing cultural heritage. The FPO, with its anti-immigration stance and emphasis on Austrian identity, has positioned itself as the defender of a homogenous and unchanging Austria, a vision that resonates with a segment of the population. This narrative of protectionism and cultural preservation strikes a chord with many. Are economic anxieties driving voters towards the far right? Or are these parties merely exploiting existing prejudices? The interplay between economic fears and cultural anxieties is complex and understanding it is crucial for addressing the root causes of this political shift. Section 4. A harbinger for Europe? The stakes of Austrian politics. The resurgence of the far right in Austria is not an isolated phenomenon. It is part of a broader trend across Europe where far-right parties have gained traction by capitalising on similar anxieties and grievances. From France's national rally to Italy's Brothers of Italy, far-right parties have made significant electoral gains, challenging the established political order. The potential return of the FPO to power in Austria would have significant implications, not just for the country itself, but for the European Union as a whole. Austria, under a far-right government, could become a disruptive force within the EU, undermining efforts to address pressing issues such as climate change, migration and economic inequality. Furthermore, a far-right victory in Austria would embolden far-right movements across Europe, signalling that their brand of politics is acceptable and even electable. This could have a domino effect leading to the further normalization of xenophobia, intolerance and authoritarianism. Is Austria a bellwether for the future of European politics? What are the broader implications of a far-right resurgence in the heart of Europe? Section 5. Austria's choice. A crossroads for democracy. Austria stands at a significant crossroads, a pivotal moment in its history. The choices it makes in the coming months and years will have profound consequences, not just for its own citizens, but for the future of democracy in Europe and beyond. Every decision will echo through the corridors of power and the hearts of the people. The resurgence of the far right is a stark reminder that the values of tolerance, inclusivity and respect for human rights are not guaranteed. These values, which form the bedrock of a democratic society, are under threat. They must be actively defended and nurtured through both policy and everyday actions. The temptation to dismiss the far right as a fringe movement, a relic of the past, is a dangerous one. Ignoring it allows it to grow unchecked. Their ideas, once relegated to the margins, have gained a foothold in mainstream politics. Fueled by a toxic mix of economic anxiety, cultural resentment and political opportunism, this shift has altered the political landscape. The fight against the far right is not just a political battle, 
It is a battle for the soul of our societies. It is a struggle to maintain the integrity of our democratic institutions. It is a battle to uphold the values of democracy, equality and human dignity. These principles are the foundation of a just society. It is a battle that requires vigilance, courage and an unwavering commitment to truth and justice. Every citizen 